Casey Gray here from The Conscious Builder, and today I'm answering another question that came to us in the comments on our YouTube channel. This one comes from 21 Trips, and the video that it came in uh, was on the new 2020 Net Zero build with Passive House designer Chris Strack of Vert Design. And the question is, why no ge geothermal with well water loop? Uh, well, I can't necessarily answer on Chris's behalf, but one of the things that we don't use, one of the reasons why we don't use geothermal in our projects is because we focus a lot on the envelope. So geothermal, in theory, will save you 40 to 60 percent on your energy bill, at least where, where we are in the world. And that's really on your heating bill, right? So that's not the whole year, that's part of the year. But when we build the homes that we build and we focus on the envelope, we're dropping the heating and cooling demand by at least 50% on our builds, uh, if a lot more, especially in Passive House, we're doing way more than that. So when you get into talking about cost savings, the payback when you put in geothermal, because the upfront cost is so much, becomes a lot longer because you're not reducing a $400, $500, $600 a month heating bill. Your bill has already been dropped to, you know, $50, whatever it may be. It depends on the size of the house, all sorts of things, right? So to save another 40 to 60% on that is just pennies at that point. So that's why we don't use geothermal in a lot of the projects, nor do I believe it necessarily makes sense, especially with air source heat pumps becoming more and more efficient and the technology getting better and better. Thanks for watching another episode here of the Conscious Builder Show. If you haven't already, please hit subscribe to follow all of the exciting projects we have, including our official first official YouTube series, The Three Day Cottage.